Yeah, Jason Sellers couldn't have driven any harder if he could have tried. Now look at Jock Bennett trying to do exactly the same thing as he battles the big horsepower. Matt Clock V8 Twin Turbo from Milwaukee Tools. Now Max got a lot of support here, but Jock Bennett, for some reason, has been on fire at top of round three. Now Matt Clock pushes wide. That's going to hurt him. The judges wanted to see it in the apex there. Advantage for that run goes to Jock. We swap over now. The Milwaukee S13 on the lead. Jock Bennett on the chase, and what a chase. Yeah, and you see what happens here. There's contact initiated due to a gearbox breakage in Matt Kwok's car. The judges had asked for a bit of feedback from the drivers. Kwok would uh, admit that the car did in fact break. Jock Bennett would go through. For those that don't follow drifting a lot, when a mechanical failure happens on the track and you cause the other guy to spin, you get a zero, and that's what happened to the Milwaukee S13. And in turn, Jock Bennett gets five minutes to check over his car. Let's go down to the pits with BK. I did a good, clean lead run, I guess. He chased me well. As far as I know, he was right behind me at the end of the track. And just on the entry, um, when I was chasing, uh, Mac blew fourth gear, which, yeah, basically his car almost came to a standstill and I just collected the back of him. There was nowhere I could go, so. That's all good. We so get to move ahead. Yeah, man, it's awesome. Top four in the little A85. It's working. Find the flag, bro. Yeah, man, it's awesome.